Greetings, big changes are ahead for NOAA Weather Radio. While many of the changes will be behind the scenes, there are some important differences weather radio users should be made aware of. First off, let's explain what NOAA Weather Radio is for those who may not know. Weather radios are specially designed receivers that can receive an alarm with life-saving weather information. They can, bro they can also broadcast routine forecast and current observations. When we at the National Weather Service Office issue the, set, issue the warning by hitting the send button, they will immediately set off an alarm at the radio, giving you the quickest possible warning of dangerous weather, including tornadoes, damaging winds, hail, and flash flooding. Weather radios can save your life. The weather radio system is being updated after approximately 20 years. The old console system is being replaced by a new digital audio converse, which will send audio to the transmitters. The software will be integrated with our forecasting software and will be more user friendly. The software will send the products to the digital audio converters for broadcast. Most importantly for all of you, the old voices Tom, Donna, and Igor will now be transferred to a new voice called Paul. Here is a sample of the new voice. Here is a look at conditions across the region at noon. On top of Sugar Camp Mountain near Jackson, the sky was sunny. The temperature was 69 degrees and the dew point 50 degrees, producing a relative humidity of 50%. Wind was calm. The barometer was 30.08 inches and steady. The report from Big Sandy Airport was not available. At the Pikeville Airport, it was fair. The temperature was 59 degrees. At the Hazard Airport, it was mostly sunny. The temperature was 70 degrees. These changes will involve software, hardware, along with a new broadcast voice. The process for receiving warnings, along with programming codes, will all remain the same. These changes are coming soon and will likely be implemented by mid-June. If you have any feedback on the transition or general comments, please send us an email at our email account listed on the screen. Thank you for taking the time to listen to these important changes, and we hope you enjoy your day. Thank you.